Reese, do you copy? Yes, yes, I'm here. God, it's nice to hear your voice. It's nice to hear your voice, too. I'm, uh... I seem to be able to keep my distance from the dead zone right now, which is good. I, I don't know how it crept up on me so quickly when I was in the tower. I, di I didn't even realize it was spreading. Well, at least it's slowed for now. You've just got to keep moving. Well, <laughs> yeah, that is the plan. Anyway, I, th I think we should probably keep these calls brief. I, I don't want to keep... I don't want to hold you up. Just in case, um... One of the others tries to call. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I know. I'll call you in an hour? Yeah. Over, Over and out. <laughs> Over and out. I've reached the last recordings for Reese Williams and Alex Taylor. I didn't make any comments on the last recordings. They were overshadowed by the news of Addison's death. I apologize, I should have been focusing on my job. The dead zone has spread towards Alex's tower. They have left and are now trying to make it to Reese. It appears the dead zone is moving at an inconsistent rate. No way to predict what will happen. I'm not hopeful. These are the last recordings. Who knows why they just stopped. You're allowed to be shaken up, you know. I still have a job to do. My emotions can come later. Let's keep moving. Hey, hour two. I'm still alive. Uh, that must be bad news, I know. <laughs> No. No, it's good news. You, uh... Heard any word from anybody else? Nope. Just you. Cool. You, you think I could stick around and, um, chat for a bit then? Yeah, that's... that's fine. But what about? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I don't really know you. Like I don't know Reese Williams. Like we know each other. We've been been talking on the radio for however long. But I haven't even met you. It, it, I don't even know the basics. Well, it's kind of fair. I feel like I don't really know Alex Taylor. So tell me something. Why'd you get into the whole park ranger business? I don't know that you want to know Alex Taylor. I don't know. I like nature. Ooh, that sounds like a bullshit reason. Yeah, that's because it is a bullshit reason. I was running away. I needed some time alone, and I figured, what better way to be alone than to be stuck in a radio tower for months at a time, away from... Everybody else. You can tell I kind of wasn't planning on having a chatty co-worker who called me every five minutes. Oh, you love me. So, what were you running from? You know, the usual. Shitty small town full of closed-minded people. Bad parents. Were closed-minded people. Even worse, ex. Mm, let's not get into that. I wasn't... I don't know that I was much better. I got into some pretty bad stuff for a while. I just felt stuck. And I needed to get back on my feet. That's why I left. Hmm. Honestly, I can't imagine you being a bad person. I mean, sure, you're stubborn, but... Well, I... I am. Okay. Just take my word for it. 
if you were really a bad person, I wouldn't still be here. You barely even know me. You're just... You're just saying that. Nope. I'm not. <laughs> I've been through too much shit to deal with bad people. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah, go for it. Before you mentioned that there were two terrifying events you lived through. I know one of them was the dead zone. I don't know exactly what you saw in there, but I kind of figure maybe it's better if you tell me about that when I'm not uh, actively running from the dead zone. I, I don't know that knowing that right now would be super great for me. But I was... What was the other one? Hmm. You know, I took this job to get away from horrifying things. Horrifying things like questions? It's not an answer, Reese. Well, I know, but it, it leads into it. But it probably won't help the scary situation we're in. I was also running away. I mean, not from bad parents or a shitty ex. From grief, I guess. When I wandered into the dead zone, I told you I heard the voice of someone. Blair, my ex-girlfriend. She's not my ex by choice or anything like that. She was killed in a caving incident. Blair loved the paranormal. Ghosts and demons and Ouija boards. Basically, she was the embodiment of one of those shitty paranormal YouTube channels. Wasn't really my thing, but I liked supporting the things she liked. And she heard this old folklore or something like that about this entity that resided in these caves. It was all knowing and all powerful, but it was held back by some magic or some other bullshit. And she was, and she was convinced it was there. So me and some friends decided to join her. I mean, we had a guide and everything in these caves, and we did what we were supposed to do, but... Well, the guide was killed. The cave collapsed, and we were completely alone. We should have stayed put, but Blair was determined. And we almost made it out. But the cave collapsed, and... She couldn't make it. She was still alive when I left to get help. But I was too late. I... Um, the rest of our friends, Clyde and Sarah, they were never recovered. They stayed put when we did. So I guess we were doomed no matter what we did. Reese, I'm, I'm sorry. It's awful. I went into the dead zone because I knew she would have loved it. And I knew that the paranormal definitely existed. I mean, there's stuff that happened in that cave that I can't explain. I honestly thought I was losing it, going crazy from the darkness and the claustrophobia, maybe trying to cover up my grief with weird stories, but scary shit exists. And I needed to see it again. I needed to see some horrifying monster. The cave collapsing didn't kill my friends. 
or my girlfriend or that guide that entity did we don't have to we don't need to keep talking about this if, uh, if you don't want it I'm sorry I brought it up I should have minded my own business no I think I just sort of thought maybe talking about it would help in this situation I'm sorry, Reese. No, it's... It's okay. I wouldn't have shared if I didn't want to. But that's why I was so insistent on you leaving your tower. When I got here after all that horrifying and shitty stuff, despite your cold front attitude and, you know, you totally hating my guts, you are the one thing I found myself looking forward to every day. Just talking to you. I was happy for the first time in a long time. So I would prefer it if you kept moving and, you know, maybe didn't die on me. Please. I never hated your guts. And I, uh, I don't plan on dying. No, I, I don't think anybody does. But I'll do my best. I'm sorry about Blair. I can tell how much she meant to me. Yeah. Thank you. If you ever need to talk about it, um, I'm here. You can, you can talk about it with me. Right now, though, I should, uh, I, I guess I should probably make it to your tower. And then we can, um, then we can talk about all the horrible bullshit we've lived through. Um, maybe not on the radio where we're being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oddly, that sounds really nice. Great, because, um... It sounded a lot better in my head, and then I was saying it, and I was like, does this sound Alex. fucked up? Like, Alex, no. I look forward to getting to hang out with you. In person, not just over the radio. So, don't overthink it. Just keep moving. I hate to cut this short, but... You should probably focus on getting the hell over here. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Over and out. Over and out. Reese, I don't know if I can make it to your tower. No, no, no. no. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm here. I got you. What's going on? What makes you think that? The dead zone is catching up with me. It's moving fast. I don't I don't know if I I don't know. No, no, no. It won't. You just have to keep moving. Reese. You're still days away from me. And you'll make it. Alex, you are way smarter than I am. Even if you do get caught in the dead zone, I know you'll get out. If I manage to get my way out, and I'm a complete moron, I know you can too. Maybe being a moron is like the, the key. Maybe... What if I don't? No. Don't think like that. You are going to make it. And then we'll get to talk about all the scary stuff we've survived. Or, you know, we could just get some pizza. I'm gonna lie, pizza sounds fucking great right now. Yeah, it really does. It really does. Just please keep pushing forward. And when the dead zone slows again, you should get some rest. I could, um... Oh, I could call your radio to wake you up after a few hours. 
What if I... What if I... If I sit down or I try to go to sleep and... I wake up and it, it's there? What, what if it... What if I never get your call because I'm... I'm in it. If you don't get rest, you will never make it here. And if it does catch up with you, which it won't, I'd rather you be alert than exhausted because you haven't slept. Okay. I'm, I'm going to keep moving for now. It's, um, it's moving faster than I'd like. I'll call you in an hour. Over and out. Over and out. Hey, Reese. It's me. Hey. How's it going? A anything to report? No, not really. I I've stopped for the night. It looks like the dead zone has kind of slowed down a bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get some rest. Can you call me in like three hours? Yeah, yeah, totally. I can do that. I'm scared. I know. So am I. But you need to rest. Yeah, I know. How about I call you in two hours instead? That sounds great. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I know. Get some sleep. I mean it. Good night, Alex. Good night, Reese. Over and out. Alex? Do you copy? It's Reese. Alex, wake up! I'm, I'm here. I'm up. God, how has it already been two hours? I feel like shit. Yeah, I know. You can get more sleep in a minute. I just need you to tell me where the dead zone is. Alex? It's right there. What? It's right next to me, Reese. Oh, fuck, I gotta move. Okay. Don't panic. Does it look like it's moving still? I, I don't know. This flashlight sucks. I'm shit. Okay, get get out of there. Get some distance between you. Yeah, well, I'm I'm trying. Okay. Um, sorry. Hang on. I'll, I'll call you when I'm uh not running for my life. Um, yeah. I'll call you in a bit. Reese, you there? Oh, thank. God. Thank God you're okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, the dead zone looks like it stopped for now. Or it's moving really slow. Like I can't really tell. I'm gonna keep moving. Try and get some more distance. A little bit. A little bit of a buffer between us. Between it and me. Maybe I should just get the truck and come get you. I mean, it would be a lot no. faster. No, Reese. What good is it going to do us if both of us get stuck out here? Alex, I'm just worried. If you get caught in there, I won't be able to reach you. I know, but Reese, I'm not staying put. I'm moving, and I will feel better knowing you're safe. I know. But I would feel better knowing... You were safe here, and we can do that faster with the truck. Y yes, well, I'm, I'm... Listen, the breakdown here is either one of us is safe for sure, or neither of us is safe for sure, and, like, somebody has to be there, Reese. Somebody needs to listen. Some somebody needs to be there if somebody calls. I know, but I mean, it wouldn't take too long. We would probably be back before anyone called. Yeah, but what if what if we weren't? Or, and what if we what if we never made it back? What if they called and no one was there? I'll be okay. It's gonna be okay. 
I've got this. I'm gonna walk for another hour. It seems like it moves quicker at night, maybe. So I, I might be safer trying to rest during the day. Okay? Yeah. Maybe. Just... Just be safe. I will. Over and out. Over and out. Hey. I know it hasn't been an hour yet, but... Hey. Hey. Is, is everything okay? I'm living the dream. <laughs> I guess I could just... Maybe I just like having... You to talk to? Oh? <laughs> Is that so? Shut up. My annoying calls have finally paid off. <laughs> the Alex Taylor likes talking to me. I take it all back. Never happened. Never happened. No, never... no. <laughs> These calls are recorded. I have this in recording. There's no take backs. You're insufferable. <laughs> I know, but you love me. Well, maybe I do. Oh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, is that okay? If it's not, it was a joke. Like No, no, um, no, yeah, yeah. It's totally okay. It's, it's more than okay. I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay. Um... Sorry or you're welcome? <laughs> no, we're good. We're, this is good. And we can talk about it more once you get to my tower in one piece. Well, I'm doing doing my best. Uh, sorry. It, it just sort of slipped out, I guess. I haven't really like, processed it, or anything, or it's it. Reese, did you hear that? No. No, nothing came over the mic. Alex, what's going on? What is it? Just hang on for a second, okay? Just hang on. Alex? Alex, do you copy? Alex, please, I... Please, I can't do this by myself. I can't do any of this by myself. Alex, please, are you there? Reese? Reese? Yes, uh, I'm here. Sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Sorry. Um, I kind of, I knocked the radio over. Uh, I was trying to move too fast. And I'm, I'm so fucking sorry, Reese. I didn't mean to freak you out. Um, I'm here. I'm still here. Something walked by, and it was huge. Like, a. I don't... I don't even know. It didn't have a head. Reese, is this what you saw? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Alex, I'm coming to get you. No. Reese? I, I, I'm I, just going to move faster? I'm Look, I've already come this no, far. No, I am not no, leaving no you point. there when that thing is around. That's probably what killed Addison. Alex, I can't lose you. You're not going to. And I I don't want to yeah, lose you. Yeah, I know you. I'm not because I'm getting the truck. No, no. Reese. Reese, I know that I know it's hard, but I need I need you to understand that I'm moving. I need you to I need you to stay put. Reese? Reese? Reese, get back in your tower. Reese. God fucking damn it! That's... That's the end? Yeah. 
We intercepted Reese in the early morning once we arrived, took them in. And Alex? Alex was found alive in the dead zone, in critical condition, but alive. Okay, um, how is he now? A lot better. Going to make a full recovery. Thank God. That thing got him? Yeah. We found Alex just as they were hit. That's when the team managed to get the creature. It wasn't easy, though. Well, let me finish this up and then you can tell me all about it. We're almost through all the recordings. I'll fill you in at the end, okay? Okay. For the record, Alex Taylor made it decently far into Redtail after leaving his tower. They are in constant communication with Reese Williams, who is offering support during this trek. The dead zone was moving at rapid speeds during the night. Alex said it moves faster at night. Maybe it has some kind of aversion to light? Alex saw the creature, and when they told Reese, she took off. Our team intercepted them and took them in. Alex Taylor was found badly injured. Both survived. Frederick and Liam only have a few more recordings to go. Let's get going, then. You get set up. I'll be right back. Don't be late. Do you Copy is written and produced by Delaney Sutton. In this episode, you heard the voices of Ailey Nicholson as Reese Williams, Kale Brown as Alex Taylor, Rowan Farlow as Blake Bennett, and Delaney Sutton as... This episode was edited by Delaney Sutton. A special thanks to Kaylee Scott for the theme song. Thanks for listening.